Hampshire, one of the New England states, has only 18 miles of seacoast between Maine and Massachusetts. The drawbridge over the Piscataqua River connects New Hampshire to the state of Maine. The old town, first called Strawberry Bank, later changed to Rivermouth, is now called Portsmouth. It was originally settled in 1623, three years after the Pilgrims landed at Plymouth. Long an active seaport, it now has an important submarine base and navy yard. Be damned point is just to the right here where the deep river swirls out to the sea. If you ever rode a boat in this river, you would know why it has this name. Outfitting docks and in the background the dry dock where submarines are fitted out for sea. The large shed contains three marine ways on which the submarines are built. Two oh nine is the number of the Sculpin, sister ship of the ill-fated Squalus, which made Navy history when it went down off this coast in 1939. It was raised only after months of heroic salvage work. Portsmouth is famous for its old colonial houses. The Wentworth Gardner House, built in 1760, is a splendid example of Georgian architecture. The tree is a linden, brought from England at the time the house was built. A beautiful example of the pineapple, symbol of hospitality. Market Square, dominated by the North Church, 1854. In the background, the Athenaeum, built in traditional Adam style in 1803, now contains a library and a collection of ship models. In the old days, Market Square was the place where the farmers came from miles around, hitched their horses and traded. Jacob Wendell's house on Pleasant Street, built in 1789.
John Paul Jones lived here. He was the first to command a ship flying the United States flag, the Ranger in 1777. Leaving as we arrived by the harbor, we go down the coast a ways. Waves break over the Bullfrog Rock, off Little Boar's Head. Many eminent residents have made up this summer colony for the past half century. The house of ex-governor Huntley Spaulding. Mr. Spaulding has had the honor of being twice governor of New Hampshire. Vina Hoffman, sculptor, calls on the Spaulings. of ex-governor Alvin T. Fuller of Massachusetts. His garden and farm are famous. Andrews by the sea at Rye Beach, where the summer folk worship. <laughs> <laughs> 